Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video in Perspective Drawing series. In this video, we will learn how to divide and multiply dimensions in both orthographic and perspective views. For both the views, the same technique holds good. So let's get started. Here we have a rectangle of one unit. To divide this into two equal halves without using a ruler, all that we have to do is run two diagonal lines from the corners. So let's go ahead and do that. So from the corners, let us draw two diagonals. And by doing so, we have an intersection line here. Now a vertical line which is passing through this intersection point divides the rectangle into two equal halves. So if I just draw a vertical line, so this has divided this rectangle into two equal halves. The same technique holds good for dividing a rectangle which is in perspective. So over here we have a rectangle of one unit which is in two point perspective. So if I just draw two diagonal lines from the corners, we have an intersection point over here. If I drop in a vertical through this line, oh sorry, through this intersection point, this vertical is dividing this rectangle into two equal halves. This technique is used for dividing a rectangle which is in perspective and orthographic view. It is as simple as that. Now, once we have divided these two rectangles into equal halves, next, how to multiply this? Meaning, if I want the same unit across the perspective lines, how to do it? Well, again, it's a very simple technique. From this intersection point in, in the orthographic view, all we have to do is draw a line which is parallel to the top and bottom horizontal lines. So, and we have an intersection point over here. From any of these corners, from this corner or from this corner, we have to just draw a line passing through this through this in intersection point. So let's do it like this. From this new point, if we drop in a vertical, now we have multiplied the same unit across uh, the the orthographic plane. So whatever we have got here is the same unit. This technique can also be used for multiplying rectangles in perspective also. So to do this, we have to draw a line through this intersection point to the right vanishing point. One easy way of doing that is just measure the distance uh, across the perspective lines over here, which is going to a right vanishing point. So this is four centimeters and I'll just mark a point over here. And from this point, which we have got, let us draw a line. This line also is going to the right vanishing point. And from the corner, if I just draw a line passing through this new intersection point that we have got, we will get another intersection point over here. From this line, let us draw a vertical line. Now, this unit is 
the same as this unit over here. Notice one thing, in orthographic view, whatever distance you have in this rectangle, say this is 4.5 centimeters, the same is repeated when you are multiplying. This is also, this rectangle is also 4.5 centimeters. However, because of foreshortening, the length of the rectangles in perspective reduces. So if this is 4.5, this will be less. This is 3.5. Again, if you want to multiply it one more time, from this intersection point and from this corner point, if you draw another line, we will get a new intersection point over here and just drop in a vertical. So, this length is actually the same as this length, but it appears to be reducing because of a concept called as foreshortening. And you can essentially keep on doing this as many times as you like. Yeah, in theory, all these are one unit, but it appears to be less and less as it is going away from the viewer. So that's it for this tutorial. I will see you in my next one. I hope you understood and thanks for watching. See ya.